that this is going to make you feel better. This is going to do you better. This will better you out. And nobody's out there telling them about Jesus. And that is the thing they're trying to find, really, is Jesus. And you know what? <laughs> if we don't tell them, if we don't tell them about Him, there's people that will tell them about their thing, the Wiccans, the witches, the Satanists. They'll tell them. They'll bring them in with all, yeah, outwardly surface love. And after they're real good and hooked, they'll take their soul to hell. Drinking blood. Piercing their bodies. You know, in Satanism, what in the world is their love about Satanism? Where in the world do you get off telling people that Satan loves you, Satan hates you, and he wants to take you to hell? You better think about, think about it. You think about it. Where is the love in living for the devil? In Satanism, it goes deeper and deeper and deeper into hatred and murder and blood. There is no love. Lord, I pray even right now, I pray, Lord, I pray, Father, that you would just reach into the hearts of the young people, Lord, and even those that are older that are into Satanism and all this New Age garbage. I pray you will reach into their heart. You'll pierce their heart with the truth of the Word of God. And you will grab them. Snatch them out, Lord, like you say in your Word. Snatch them out of the fire. Snatch them out of the hand of the devil, Lord. And bring them into your kingdom. Bring them into your kingdom, Lord. You know, there is teach, there is things out there, uh, teachings of Nietzsche and all those idiot devil worshipers. And people actually buy it. That committing suicide is noble. That committing suicide is, uh, something really wonderful. And there's going to be a big old party in hell. What a lie. What a deception. Hell is an eternal damnation. Eternal burning. Eternal torment. Forever and ever. There is not one ounce of love in it. Lord, I, I thank you, Father. I thank you, Lord, that even right now you are breaking the chains off of people in Satanism. Break them! In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, by His blood and by His power, by His Spirit. And Lord, I pray you will put a Bible in their hands, Lord, and let them read the true Word of God and let it cleanse their minds and their hearts, Lord, and bring them into a true, intimate, complete walk with you in union and intimacy, which is what they have been searching for. And Lord, the power that Satanists tell people they can have, <laughs> what a lie. Because the power of God, when a person is walking in the humility of the Lord, there is more power in that. And the Lord works so mightily. The power of God exceeds all. There is one God. One God. And only one God. The Almighty God. And very shortly, 
the devil and all his little minions, Beelzebub, Baphomet, all of them, all of them will be in the pit forever and ever. Praise the Lord. Amen. We must pray for these people. We must intercede, intercede, intercede for these people. Call out to God. It is a spiritual battle. You're not going to win this battle at all in the flesh. It's going to be on the knees with the spiritual armor of God that we will win this battle that we are in. There is no other way to do it. Lord, I pray, Father, that you will just Touch everybody listening with your love, Lord. Let everybody that is hearing this message be touched with your love and be so filled with your love and your presence, Lord, that you will so show them the true way and the true walk that they will get on their knees even right now crying out to you, Lord, because you are the only way the only way. And that emptiness in people's hearts, you are the one that fills that emptiness. And Lord, <laughs> I thank you that in the midst of trouble, in the midst of tribulation, in the midst of catastrophe, in the midst of anything that's going on, the shaking of the earth, whatever, We look to you, Lord Jesus, because you are the one we need to look to. We need to look up for our redemption draweth nigh. Praise the almighty, one and only Lord God Almighty.